Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from today's video, I am not in my house. I am actually in my hotel in Ibiza, or Ibiza if you want to pronounce it technically correctly. I just don't like to pronounce it Ibiza because I just feel like it's so pretentious. Not that it's pretentious, but I think because 90% of the world still thinks it's Ibiza, that when I pronounce it Ibiza, it's like, are you pronouncing it wrong? Or like just me being pretentious. So basically, as you guys can see, I am currently in my hotel. It's super cute. This month's monthly favorites, I still wanted to do because I actually still have a bunch of monthly favorite stuff. And this month's theme is gonna be a lot of my favorite travel products and some that aren't really travel, but just like beauty products. If you guys are new here and you didn't know, I booked a one-way trip to Europe with absolutely nothing planned. I had no accommodations. I literally showed up. I'm winging it day by day. I book hotels usually the day before, sometimes even the the day of like one time there was a hotel that we booked like maybe like three hours before I had to sleep there anyway point is this has been a pretty YOLO trip and I finally booked my ticket back one of the things that I'm really, really proud of myself for this trip is a lot of the things that I packed on this trip, I kind of just said to myself, holy crap, past Lisa, you are fucking smart. There are so many things that I packed for this trip that I was like, thank God I packed this. If you think I should do a travel like video on you know, the things that I pack, please let me know. The other thing is if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am a terrible packer. So if I was to take anything away from this trip, it is definitely the fact that I am now a professional packer. I think I'm pretty good at packing now. We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. Without further ado, in today's video, I'm gonna go through the usual categories. I'm gonna start off with jewelry, then I'm gonna go with some beauty favorites. So I've got some skincare, and then I also have some makeup. So let's get started. Okay, so jumping right into jewelry, as you guys know, I have a partnership with Majuri. So with anything that I mentioned today and anything on their site, you can get 10% off if you are a new customer of Majuri's. This month, I actually have four items for you. And if you guys have been following along on my trip, you will know that I actually got these products sent over to me in Amsterdam. Yes, they do ship internationally. So if you are watching this video and you don't live in US Canada, do not fear because they literally will ship anywhere. And I was desperate enough to be like, can you ship it to Amsterdam, please? So they did. And the four items that I have to share with you, I've been wearing it all over my trip and I am so obsessed, you guys. I think of all of my Majuri hauls, this one might actually be my favorite haul. The first item is this choker right here. This choker, I don't even know how to describe it. It makes me feel like royalty. Like it genuinely makes me feel like I'm a princess or something or queen. Okay, let's let's be real. Let's promote ourselves. This choker is just so beautiful. It's like beaded, but it's collectively beaded in like three lines. It is so beautiful. I'll even show you the back of it. It actually is a choker. Like if you're thinking of wearing it longer, you can't really because it's actually like this. As usual, this is solid gold, so I never take it off ever since I got this necklace I have never taken it off throughout the entire trip the next necklace that I got is the large diamond necklace so this one they have a couple of diamond necklaces but this one is the large version it is a little bit pricier but in terms of proportion I really really do like the large a lot better because the small just looks a little too like you kind of got a squint Okay, quick funny side story. When I was in my business program, there was this one case on De Beers diamonds. They're the ones that started the whole like proposal with diamond thing. Anyway, so my professor asked me, cold called me and she's like, Lisa, like, do you care how big your diamond is if your fiance proposes to you or your boyfriend proposes to you? Me being like, I was like, I should probably have like a, you know, like a civil, like acceptable answer. So I answered her and I was just like, uh, no, it doesn't really matter as long as I love the guy. And then after, under my breath, I was just like, well, if I have to squint, it's obviously a no. My guy friend, like right next to me, he was just like, actually, she just said that if she has to squint, it's a no. <laughs> it was obviously a joke, but not really obvious. The point is, I feel like the small one, don't get me wrong, it is still very cute, but my personality is, I don't want y'all to squint, okay? Like, here it is, it's right here, no one needs to squint, you don't have to go like that, it is right there, it is in your face, and that's what I like. If you don't mind the squinting, get the small. If you are like me and want to be very extra, then get the large. These are the two necklaces that I have 
sorry, something was coming. So these are the two necklaces I got. The other two items that I got is the bolt hoops. If you guys have been following my hauls, you will know I already have the bolt hoops in all solid gold and they are the best earrings ever. They are so good that I actually got these in the diamonds because, you know, Let's be real, let's elevate our look. So I got the diamonds and they look fantastic. I get the question a lot about these earrings. As you guys know, I've already talked about them. They're the Harris gold chain earrings, but I think they're discontinued on the website now because I couldn't find them anymore. That's what I've paired it with. The last item that I got is the regular dome ring, which is this one right here. As you guys know, I already have the diamond dome, which looks like this. The difference is that the diamond dome is actually thinner than the regular dome. If you guys can see the difference, it is a little bit thinner. The regular dome, I still wanted it because it's been in my wish list forever. I just kind of thought that if I got the diamond version, then I wouldn't want the pure solid gold version without the diamonds, but I still wanted it, so I got it anyway. I also wanted to get this one because it gives a lot more dimension to my hand. So all of the rings that I have besides the diamond one, it's all pretty flat. Like if you can see, it's all like very flat and it kind of goes along your hand. But then the only one that kind of sticks out as you can see is the dome ring. So that's why I really, really like it. And also if you are watching this and if you've been a long time watcher, you will know that I am normally very pale. And now because I've been on the beach a million times, Look at this healthy glow. I feel like I have some life in my soul now. I just want to say that if you are naturally tanner, you need solid gold jewelry. I loved my jewelry before my tan, but after my tan, the jewelry stands out so much more. I'm literally like, I look magnificent. Anyway, if you are someone who has naturally tan skin, you need solid gold jewelry. Like you already need it before, but now it's like, if you are actually like darker, oh my God, you look unreal. Like look at my hands and just look at like, I don't know. I just, I just think it makes us stand out so much more and it's so much more worth it. The gold and the diamond just, Amazing. Okay, so now I'm done with jewelry. Sorry for going on for so long, but I did have quite a big haul. So there you have it. Once again, I had 10% off, so make sure you use the code down below. Anyway, now moving on to skincare. So skincare products, I have actually such a great list for you. I think this is not just travel friendly, but just in general, everyone needs this. I'm gonna go in order of my routine. So the first thing that I have for you is the Dermalogica toner. Once again, I honestly really, really like this toner. I think I actually mentioned this toner before, but now I'm gonna mention it in the travel size because this has been my holy grail. As a toner, it is now so much easier for me to apply by spraying. And I'm now gonna keep the case, so anytime you know I'm traveling, I'm just gonna refill this. But this toner works on everyone's skin, sensitive skin as well. So this one is really great for traveling if you guys are looking for something like that. So far, it's lasted my entire trip and some more. So definitely recommend this toner by Dermalogica. The second thing is also by Dermalogica and it is their Biolumin C Serum. So I wanted a vitamin C serum and this one has been absolutely amazing. I will show you. This is what it looks like when I take it out and also you can see that I am almost done. See look, you can see the base of the cap. I'm actually trying to finish this so that when I leave I can just chuck this entire bottle and not have to bring it home with me. But that vitamin C serum is great. My skin has been very much glowing. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been doing all these, you know, good morning stories and I always have no makeup on and I have so many questions about my skincare routine. Well, it's this vitamin C product, y'all. Definitely check that one out. Okay, so the next item that I go into for my face is my eye cream. And you guys, this eye cream, I swear to God, I will bury it with me when I die because I'm sure I will also look young when I die with this eye cream. This eye cream, I'm not even joking you. If you have been seeing my earlier videos, you will know I have this huge self-consciousness when it comes to my under eye bags. I just have like a couple of lines there. It makes me really feel bad. When I take pictures, sometimes I have to like edit out some of these like wrinkly things. So this is the only eye cream that I've been using where I'm actually like, it really moderates it to the point that I haven't needed to really like edit my photos or just, I've been a lot more satisfied. I use it day and night and I also 
also really like it in terms of traveling and I like the packaging. So the packaging looks like this and it's just very, very easy when it comes out. It doesn't come out a lot, so you can use just a little bit. As you can see, I've already used a lot, so I have to really squeeze. Oh my God, okay there. Only a little bit comes out because of the tip of this packaging and I really like the consistency. And also this entire line I've been a huge fan of. This is an alternate to retinol and you can use it every day and it is actually Harvard patented. So definitely check that one out. Okay, so the next section are the first aid beauty products. I forgot the cleanser earlier to mention since this is obviously the first step of the routine, but I've been really loving the cleanser, the cream, and even this facial radiance pad, which is for gentle exfoliation. This has been the perfect size for me, honestly, for an entire month long trip but also all of these products have made and contributed to my glowing skin every single morning on Instagram. The cleanser cleans my skin without stripping away oils. The repair cream is so hydrating for morning and night. It's not too thick for the morning. It's just like perfect and well-rounded for traveling, especially because that way I don't have to bring two creams. I can just use the one cream. Okay, so the last product that I want to recommend is something that a lot of people have been talking to me about. So I finally went out of my way to buy this product because I was like, okay, fine. I'll try it. I'll review it. Yes, it does live up to the hype. It is the Biore UV sunscreen. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. And if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, this sunscreen has been viral. It has been so hyped up because number one, when you put it on, it's so watery that it doesn't have that sticky, tacky feeling and oily feeling that most sunscreens have. There's also very minimal white casting. If you kind of see, I know it looks white right now, but it's really more clear. Once I put it on, it's very watery and very clear. I feel Feel like if you are someone who is very sensitive to sunscreen or really doesn't like sunscreen and want to protect your skin definitely this is something for you personally I'm a huge sunscreen person I'm picky but I've gotten used to the oily like white casting like you know what I mean I've used that so much of my life that like this one I can tell is absolutely outstanding but I'm not too too picky about all the other ones and I do still find joy in all of my other sunscreens as well but I do find that this is definitely going to be useful for you if you or you know the men in your life because they're always complaining about like the skincare consistencies I feel like this would be like absolutely perfect for these people for the less picky people maybe this will just be a marginal difference but I think that will really be up to you the Next category I'm gonna go into is makeup. And once again, I'm gonna go starting with kind of the order of how I put my makeup on. So the first item that I'm gonna talk about is the Bite Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. And I have this in light two. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is amazing. You can open it. There's a compact mirror if you want to do touch-ups on the go. There's also this little thing that comes along with it. So you can use this to kind of touch up on your face. Because I've been in Europe and it is so freaking hot here I do not wear foundation anymore this is just me wearing a little bit of powder this so you can actually apply this either with a brush if you want to take it to go then you can use the pad that they have provided for me I actually started using the pad every single day as I get ready I feel like the pad like wears off very easily like as you guys can see so if you're not using it for touch-ups I actually recommend using a separate brush for it which actually works very very well but for heavier coverage if you want then I would use the pad anyway I've been really liking this because now I only put on primer I put on some powder and then that is it and then I put on the blush and the bronzer and after that my makeup stays on all day and it doesn't melt off anymore because I do not wear liquid foundation anymore that is that okay so next item is actually the hula bronzer this is nothing new but I wanted to bring this up because this has been my bronzer this entire trip and I forgot how much I like this bronzer I haven't been using it in a really long time because I was using the Charlotte Tilbury one and some other ones but then afterwards when I started using this again I was just like damn I forgot how perfect the tone of this bronzer is. It is honestly one of those tones that surprisingly works with like most people's skin tones. Unless if you are a lot darker, I feel like in general, this works with neutral skin tones, pink undertones, etc. I honestly feel like if you're struggling to find a bronzer that goes well with your skin, or if you're just in the market for a new bronzer and you haven't tried Hoola, definitely try this one again. This is such an old cult favorite and now a renewed favorite for me. If 
if you will, because it is so great on my skin. The next item that I want to talk about is actually another KKW product. Oh my God, the logo is like rubbing off. So to be honest with you, this one is the double-sided contour stick. I have the darker side here and I have the lighter side here. I can't even tell what color this is anymore because it has completely rubbed off. I was gonna say, I realized like I'm not actually a contour person. I'm more of a bronzer and powder person. However, the lighter end of this stick is perfect for nose contour. It is not too heavy and you're not like blending for days. It is honestly the best for that. For me, this was kind of like a half favorite because I don't like it for like a face contour and the darker side doesn't work on my nose at all. The lighter shade, I definitely recommend if you're looking for like a nose contour thing and don't wanna use your bronzer because it's too dark. I would get a contour stick, but try sticking a little bit lighter and just going like maybe two shades darker than your actual skin tone and you will bam, look amazing and have a snatch nose. This one, absolutely half like it <laughs> because the other half I don't really use. Okay, the next product is a hourglass product and this product I actually got in collaboration with Coda Lee and my friend Winnie on Instagram. Basically, we did this really cute Sephora a swap challenge where she bought all this makeup for me and I bought a bunch of makeup for her and we just kind of had to test it out. So this one, oh my god, this is one of the new stuff that I had. This is absolutely my favorite thing now for highlight. It is so easy to apply. It's just a stick. This is my favorite. I realized that, you know, I have to stop kidding myself. I am not a cream person. Like, I don't really love cream products that are too liquidy, but this is such a great balance between it's not too much power Powder, but it's not like so liquidy and it's so easy to apply. This is what it is right now. After I apply it, I literally, all I do is I blend it like this. So you know what? I'm just gonna quickly show you. So what I do is I just like go like that. Super easy, right? And then now you have the harsh line. So I just take my finger and then I just blend it out. And then voila, it is so easy to use. And this color just works so well on my skin. The color that I have is Champagne Flash. It looks great. It's been the highlighter of this entire Europe trip. So if you guys are wondering what is making my face so shiny, it is that. The last item that I have of this entire video is the Marc Jacobs lip gloss. So I didn't really want to mention this because Marc Jacobs Beauty has now been discontinued slash it has gone bankrupt. So that's why I didn't really want to mention this product. However, because you guys all complain when I, you know, don't mention something when it's like sold out or whatever. So I'm mentioning it now. And also because, you know, even though, even though this particular product is discontinued, I would like to pay attention to the shade of this product. This shade, it's kind of like a peachy pink. It is perfect for summertime or times when you just want to look like a little bit more tanned and toned. And once again, this is the lip gloss that I'm wearing today. I just absolutely love this color. I haven't gotten something in a more orange tint. So that's why I highly recommend checking something out Even if you can't find this online anymore or anything and you can see I started this lip gloss at the start of this trip and look at where we are This has been a month a month there we have it. This is the total August favorites of this month. And while I am traveling, I'm still filming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys back in Toronto. Bye.